gave Danny a thousand, and Wayne Crane gave Danny a thousand, and you played all night long. Yeah. And in fact, Rich had you. He he. It was kind of head. He had nine a couple times. Yeah. And you came back and won it. And Wayne Crane sat there the whole night and sweated that game. God bless him. Well, he was betting in his case money. But like I said, there's a story to it. We had played in the tournament like in the last eight. And I and I was playing Rich Gather. And he said, you want to bet something on this match? And I had a definite that guy feel. And uh, I said, yeah, I'll, I'll, what do you want to do? Beer boy. Well, I don't know why. Did you want to bump into that floor over there? shot there, Danny. He, he, my feeling is he was trying to play position above the four. He was not happy with the shape he had, but he still had a very makeable shot. An opening for Ralph Suquet here. Shane is leading in the match four games four. That was a rare bad hit for Shane. Can Ralph take advantage of it? He's going to have to cut the four across the table. choice now he can shoot the five in the side or the five in the corner. Now I'm going to tell you a buddy Hall story here. You don't have to the side because if you shoot it in the corner you already got the position. Buddy said don't play position when you already got it. And that's the case there. Cutting in the side would have been some work. This was perfect. to get in the money. You've got to get to the final four to cash. Uh, the Sunday Blues get 2250 each. The Blues Finals to get 4500 And the winner of this event in three days will win $9,000. Nice little payday. Oh, 
He made noise. That's about it. Here we are. This is similar to the first one. He's got a bank. Look where the two is. He's got a bank. This one. Yeah. And he's got position automatically. I mean, look the way the ball stops. All the balls seem to stop similar to that first round. The four is where it was. The two is where it was. The one had a little better shot in the side, but a bank. Just stick and shoot the ball on the side. You can go right to the three. I kind of know Ralph doesn't really like bank shots. He's been ducking it, but he's got a bank shot. He made it. He's got the perfect angle on the two to come down to the three ball next. Well, I think he's going to have to shoot the three in the side. I don't think he can shoot the two and go forward and have the three in the right hand pocket. That's what he's looking at. He's gonna, yeah, he's going to go down. He's, he's got a good angle to shoot the two inside, go down, and shoot the three inside. He wants to get below the three so he can get the cue ball back up table for the four next. Right. And that's real angle. Pretty good. Pretty good. He needs a little angle on the four, and that's what he's going to have. You know, he, he don't want to be straight in on the four, so he's got a perfect angle to go one rail to the five now. This isn't a real easy layout. It isn't like each ball leads to the next. He's got to play some pretty, pretty good position here. He's got to work a little bit this round. You know, force that cue ball. He knows how hard he hit that ball. This is a key shot here, getting from the four to the five. Yeah, he wants a little angle on the five so he can get to the six. He'd rather not be straight in on the five. I like this. You don't want to be straight in on the five. He's got a little angle. Not he's much. Got, yeah, but he's got just enough where he can go right over to the same pocket and he's shooting five in. He would like to have a little more angle, and that would have been off the rail, but he got pretty good here. He's going to force this over for the set. I don't think he wants to cheat the pocket this time. No, we saw what happened with the eight ball yeah. a minute ago. He may learn something there, but I think it's automatically going to the set. He's got to hit this ball pretty hard. He did. Perfect shot. People acknowledge it. They know it was a great shot. Now he's in pretty good shape. He got past the toughest part of this rack. Because we thought he was in good shape last rack, and you saw what happened. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. He got perfect on the side. These are the kind of players that you might see this once or twice in a long race like that. Okay, do you want to stop there and have an angle on the eight to go one rail, or do you want to go forward and get kind of straight on the eight and then shoot the nine on the side? It's all choices. I like going forward and shooting the nine on the side, but he don't want to snuffle himself either. So that's pretty good. He can still get to the nine on the side. Get to the nine on the side, stop the cue ball, and you're going to have a W. Seven, he'd really be in trouble. But now, Shane needs 10 more games, so Kay needs 13. Ten balls a nice game. This Ralph is very careful about where he puts the balls in the rack. The only balls that are required are the one, two, and three in the corners and the 10 in the middle, but there is some importance as to where you place the other balls. Well, I played in a tournament in Taipei, and they put every ball in the designated spot, not just those three. So everybody had the same kind of break, and balls would go in the same place for everybody. Well, to break it from the middle, right there. He wants to pop that cue ball straight back. Got to be careful the side pocket on the cue ball, always going close to it. Nothing down. This is the 
Speed is a little funny because it's going to corner. Yes, it does, I think. <coughs> these great players get the right angle on the ball, they pretty much can stay in line from shot to shot. Oh, he hit that a little hard. Yeah, he didn't want to do this. I mean, he still had a shot that's makeable, but how do you get to the six now? He oh, wanted to get straight in. Not so sure the six goes by the seven. It doesn't. It's a good stroke right here. Yeah, he could equalize when he got a little out of line. I like the way Shane's rolling his cue ball right now, Danny. I like the pace he's playing. He's, he's not stalling. He's getting up to shoot the balls. And I like that. I don't like the slow play with top players. No reason to play slow. They know the game. There isn't too many choices. You don't need to stall. Well, he's got the speed down. Perfect. And just like that, Shane polishes off that rack and he gets the six. Six two, Shane Van Bowen. This is a long match and I fully expect the players to take a break at some point in this match. Typically, these races are going to last around two hours or longer. But as long as it's good play, it's not Fuck. Long. It's when they struggle that the match can take all night. But there's nothing struggling about this. Beautiful.